Hey guys, Will here with some Warlords of Draenor press event information. It was recently announced in an interview that Ian Hesacostas did that Blizzard plans on greatly simplifying the currency systems in Warlords of Draenor. Now, what's that mean, right? So this could mean that there was no Valor, Justice, and potentially Honor points in the expansion. Now, this isn't finalized yet, but what they've been saying is that the role of Valor has historically been a consolation prize. It's been compensation for bad luck. Like you would do a raid a number of times, let's say five, ten times, and you would never see that shoulder piece drop. But while you were doing that raid a number of times, you were racking up points, and eventually you could just go to a vendor and buy a fairly comparable piece. It might not necessarily be as good as a tier piece, but it would be pretty good, and it would serve you well until you finally got that piece from actually raiding. Now what they're saying is that the bonus roll system added in Mists of Pandaria could potentially replace all of the currency systems in the game right now. Currently, the bonus roll system has a number of problems, in that it's pretty dumb. It often gives you duplicate items. It definitely feels very random, in that sometimes you can roll and just keep getting loot, but other times, you feel like you don't get anything for a long time. If they make it a little bit smarter and increase the bad luck protection, it could be pretty good overall, although it would still feel very different from the point systems we have today, and these point systems have been in the game for a long time in some form. All the way back to Burning Crusade, we had badges, and then in Wrath of the Lich King, we had emblems, and then in Cataclysm, it was turned into the Valor and Justice points we know today. But these point systems have been in the game for a long time, and I think people kind of expect them, so I don't really see the point in replacing them. I think that Valor has definitely served a purpose through Mists of Pandaria, although it did get a little bit grindy at times. I think that Valor capping does kind of feel grindy a lot of times, especially if you're doing it on multiple alts every week it can definitely feel very tedious. I think that this system has the potential to feel much better. You don't have to get to a certain cap every week, or maybe you do have to get your cap in terms of you have to get your charms turned in so you can have your coins, but that seems a lot easier than having to rack up a thousand valor points every week. They're saying that honor points could potentially be removed, but PvP still needs at least one currency, because pure randomness in PvP gear wouldn't really work, especially at the high end. There needs to be some equal footing for these top end players in terms of their gear. Now, Justice Point didn't really serve much of a purpose in Mists of Pandaria anyway. They gave item level 458 gear, which was worthless, so removing them isn't really a big deal. Although there is one thing that they're still used for all the time, which is buying heirlooms. I wonder what they'll do with the current heirlooms we have in the game. Maybe we could buy them with uh, other things, like we currently can buy them with Dark Moon tickets or Champion Seals, but those are a lot harder to grind out than Justice. I'm hoping that if they do remove Justice, they make it so we can just buy all the current heirlooms with gold. We can already buy quite a few of them through the guild vendor system with gold, so why not just make them all buy both gold? It wouldn't be, really be a big deal at that point. One thing that I've noticed is that we might lose incentive to do dungeons or scenarios after we outgear them if there's no point rewards. I know that definitely during Cataclysm, I did a ton of random heroics just for the Valor. I love doing them with friends, but if there was no Valor point incentive, I wouldn't have done them. And even today, I sometimes still run dungeons to rack up justice for heirlooms, or occasionally, again, to Valor cap, although heroic scenarios are much more efficient. But again, the same thing applies to them you wouldn't really feel the need to run a heroic scenario if there was no Valor reward at the end. This also means that there might not be any more item upgrades. If you don't have any Valor, how could you upgrade? And I really don't like the idea of removing them. I guess they could potentially have it so you spend your bonus rolls or your lesser charm equivalent on these item upgrades again, but that would feel a little bit weird to me. I think that a point system works the best there. Item upgrades served a very real purpose. I think that what they allowed Blizzard to do was instead of ha applying these zone-wide raid nerfs to places like Dragon Soul or Firelands, what it allowed Blizzard to do was only do very small targeted nerfs because the players were increasing in power every week, guaranteed. If they Valor capped, then they could upgrade their items. Even if they got no drops, they would be stronger from one week to the next every time. And that was really cool because it felt like you were increasing your power. And that definitely feels a lot better to the player to get more powerful than to just go into a raid one day and everything is, you know, nerfed by 20%. You're like, what was I doing on here before? I just, I was wasting my time. Everything is so different now. It's way too easy. What the hell, Blizzard, you robbed me of my progression. Whereas if the player actually feels like they're overcoming these challenges, getting stronger every week, they feel like it's a result of them and not just Blizzard making some switch in the game. Anyway, what do you guys think of the removal of the currency systems or 
released a very simplified version of them. I'm not really a big fan of this change, but <laughs> I'll get used to it if it goes live. But I was really definitely looking forward to doing the more challenging Heroic Five Mans for Valor Kit points again, just like in Cataclysm. Anyway, that's all for me for now. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.